Many people have asked me, what books have you read, Rob? What videos did you watch? Where did you learn the things that you have learned? Now, I'm not claiming that I've never read any books and I'm not claiming that I don't watch any YouTube channels, but there's actually one place where I've probably learned the most. There's one place where I've learned more than I've learned from books and videos, which is my own mind. No, 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 don't get me wrong. I'm not claiming that I'm some kind of a genius that came up with everything myself. Obviously not. Obviously what happens in my mind is strongly influenced on everything that I've, that I've ever experienced, which includes books that I've read, which includes YouTube videos that I've watched, etc. But I think that so many people, especially today in our modern lifestyles, have sort of forgotten the power of actually using your own brain. We live these lifestyles where people are practically always distracting themselves. People are no longer actually spending time with their own brain. As soon as we have nothing to do for one minute, and I've said this before in countless of other videos, we have nothing to do for one minute, we pick up our smartphones and we start browsing the internet or social media or looking for the, the notifications of a messenger app, whatever. We practically never spend more than literally a single minute with our own mind without starting to mindlessly consume again. All that we ever do is consume instead of actually use our own brain. And on top of that, we think that if we actually want to do something useful, if we actually want to learn things, that we also have to consume. We think that learning means consuming more content, but then instead of consuming entertainment, we consume educational content. And so we, the, the average person lives this lifestyle where they practically, literally never spend more than a single minute with their own mind. And we have forgotten. We have forgotten that most of the greatest ideas that we get come from using our own mind, not from watching a video or reading a book. Our ancestors did not invent the wheel by, by reading a book on how to create a wheel. Most of the greater inventions throughout history came from some kind of a genius who spent a lot of time actually using his brain. And I can see the exact same pattern happening in my life. The greatest ideas that I've ever had the, the strongest, most motivated like life goals that I've ever gotten, the biggest business ideas, the biggest creative ideas, the best ideas that I've gotten for making videos, etc. All of my greatest thoughts came when I actually used my own mind. And during these phases in my life, where I sort of constantly numbed my dopamine system by constantly consuming, these ideas, these creative ideas, did not come as easy to me. I did not feel as motivated to work towards my goals. And so my question to a lot of people is, when is the last time you've actually spent a significant portion of time with your own mind? You went on a walk by yourself for more than an hour without listening to any music. You'd sit at home in a chair and you'd stare at a wall. You do nothing for half an hour or an hour or two hours, or you just lie on the floor on your back and you spend an hour staring at the ceiling, thinking, thinking about life, thinking about important things, thinking about unimportant things. You just let your thoughts go. When's the last time you did that? Most people never have done that. Most people actually think that I'm making a joke if I ask them a question like that. They're like, what the f are you talking about, Rob? Of course, I've never spent more than an hour doing nothing, actually spending time with my brain. Who the hell thinks? Who the hell uses his brain for more than an hour? What I do is I start distracting myself again after a couple of minutes. This is what most people do, right? Try to think about it. Most people have never spent more than a couple of minutes in their lifetime with their own brain without starting to distract themselves again, without starting to consume again. And so one of the biggest tips that I can give to a lot of people, 
if they want to improve their life, they want to learn things, they want to get more motivation to work towards their goals, they want to get great ideas, is spend time with your mind. Yes, again, reading books is important and watching videos is important because the things that happen in your mind, the great ideas that you get are based on everything that you've ever learned throughout your life. So learning, consuming can be important. But these ideas that you get that are based on everything that you know, they will probably not come to the surface if all that you ever do is consume. If you really want these great ideas and these big motivations to actually come to the surface, you need to actually allow yourself to spend some time with your own mind, actually using your brain.